This is your Lily White's podcast, and welcome back. We came up here well in town, and we had an excellent crowd in. I hope you got your free beer. If you didn't, don't worry. I'm sure the club will be putting more things like that in place moving forward. Now, on to the podcast. This week, we had Zach on, and we also had Dan, who is the fan sec, and we had our new head of women's development, Fran. Also, player of the match, and the Gaffers interview. Enjoy the podcast, and as always, up the Lily Whites. I'm here with Zach for the Lily Whites podcast. First time you're going to be on the podcast, Zach. First of all, 2-1 here to the Lily Whites at halftime. What do you think? Uh, it's a great performance so far. They've been moving the ball around, getting shots off left, right, centre. It's been a brilliant performance, some of the best I've seen in the past few weeks. Really? I love after the teams that have been here as well. Um, big day for us here today. It's the last home game of the season. So the first question to really ask is, who's your player of the season? Uh, probably Sam Masler. He's been putting goals in free kicks, open play. He's been getting the assists. He's just been absolutely fabulous this year. No, I know you do a lot here at the Lily Whites. You, you referee, you coach. You was, you was with me on the half-term camp. And obviously it's down to do with your mum and dad. But what is it about Faversham Town that you like? Uh, it's my local club. I've been playing for them since I was seven years old. And it's just a brilliant place. People are friendly. You also play as well, don't you? Yeah. What, what uh, age group do you play in? Under 16s. Under 16s. How have they three. been getting on all, all this year? Uh, pretty good. We've come up to Div 1 over the past two years for not being able to win a game. And yeah, it's been fabulous. It's been, it's been okay. But what do you reckon the full time score is going to be here, Zach? 5 uh, 1. 5 1. Who's going to score those goals? Uh, Az is going to get one. Payne's going to get one. And for like Bennett's going to get the hat trick. And last is well, Punjab away next week, and then we're into the playoffs. Who are you looking forward to playing in the playoffs, and who uh, who are you not looking forward for the, for the lads to be playing in the playoffs? Uh, Corinthian probably playing, probably the best one. We can probably most likely win that one. Lee, uh, probably Glebe is probably going to be the hardest one to play against, as they they're good. They play the ball around, they play the ball around us. Last time we played them, but yeah. Hopefully we, hopefully we go through. Well, we've got a second half to come here, so when we're done here, I'll see you down there and I'll catch you at full time. Cheers, Zach. Yeah, cheers. Dan, 4-1 to the Lily Whites here today and what was a bit of a easy, straightforward win. I mean, the, the first goal was a bit, a bit of a shot with the keeper probably had needed a stronger hand, but we are now coming towards the end of the season as well. So playoffs pending. How are you feeling and what do you think about today? Yeah, a decent professional win today. I thought we had another gear, um, but you know, you can't knock 4-1 at home and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. It's pretty simple, isn't it really? And Stefan coming off at half time, we don't know what the what the precaution was for him coming off at half time, but you know, it shows that if he comes off, at least we've still got the, part, fat, so the firepower now with other players coming on, Warren going back to full fitness, Tomo getting his first goal today as well, and he's been a threat as well. And someone like Bailey King who is throwing himself about today and you know is that what you sort of need for the for the playoffs you need everyone to be firing in all cylinders yeah it, well we want Steph we definitely want Stefan fit for the playoffs you know uh, we, we do he's got so many goals for us um, and he's the one you know that if there's a crucial penalty or a charge you really want it falling to him but bar suspensions or whatever we got going into it you, you want everyone going in with a bit of form competing for places so yeah quite happy and obviously it's been a bit of a, the guy that does all the admin here with the fans and stuff. Uh, it's now the end of it. We're obviously we're going to hope to play two more games in the playoffs. So we're guaranteed at least one, and we hope that one's at home as well. But how, what are you thinking now with all the fans that you've got in this season and, and the sort of the vibe that you bring to the club as well? How does it feel to know that you've contributed to it? Oh, I don't know about that. I ain't got much to say about that. <laughs> um, the playoffs, I don't fear anyone. You know, I look at the other sides. I think... No one's breaking into the playoffs. It's just a question of the order. Yeah. And um, I fancy anyone, home or away, uh, we've got nothing to fear. You know, we could have won at Deal. We drew at Glebe. We're in a good run now. Was it 10 unbeaten now? Something like I think, was, uh, I think the last team to beat us was Lordswood, wasn't it? And we are, uh, we are one of the most informed teams in this division. But also as well, you can only play what's in front of you today. And to give credit to Wellingtown, their goalkeeper, if it wasn't for him today, we could have been 10 or 9, really, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, he's made a few good saves. We've had a couple off the bar and whatnot. And uh, I would, today was just, sorry, today was just professional. You know, we come out, they're not a great side. We are better than them. Um, but we've done a job, 4-1. And 
everybody's eyes are a couple of games down the line, aren't they? You know, Punjab's going to matter for where we finish in the league, but everybody's looking the game after that. Yeah, I mean, we've still got to go to Punjab, which is not easy. A lot of teams have gone there and, and suffered, really. A defeat or made it very hard. Um, so we need to get to next week, make sure that we get that win and, and secure a home playoff. Because if we finish that, you know, we finish top. And if we do get to play our final, it means that we will be playing our last game here as well so you know that's all that matters really right now isn't it next week is is just head on yeah i'd, I'd like to be at home just because it's at home and everything but over the course of the season we've been better away you know we're, we're, you go on the website it breaks it down home and away results we're better away but we're that good assault we can't fear anyone you know home or away bring it on especially under tommy now with some of the some of the games they beat in corinthian being one of them you know we've had uh, we've had last-minute winners against Irith Town, and I know when we played Irith Town here under the reverse fixture, we really should have got something out of that because I think it is still a penalty if I to watch it. But and then the mix-up with the goalkeepers, there's almost nothing to separate us as a as team. So, like you said, it's it's good to go in, but um, brilliant win today, and up the Lily Whites. Yeah, back stronger. Zach, four-one to Lily Whites in the end. Nice and simple. What did you think? Yeah, great performance. I'm happy how they played in the second half. They played the ball around once again, scored plenty of good goals. Like uh, Warren came on, scored a goal instantly, got man of the match for it, made a brilliant improvement. Just happy they won. Again, the Welling Town keeper made a, a number of fantastic saves out there. If it isn't for him, you know, it could have been a cricket score today. With teams like this, though, you've got to beat what's in front of you, right? And then uh, we go on to Punjab next week, who who are sort of clear and with nothing to play for. But do you think that going to Punjab, they're still going to want to beat us? Yeah, 100%. Even though they may not be able to make it to playoffs, they still want to win. Still want to get that win on the leaderboard and stop us from getting second or third in the league. Well, thank you for coming on today, Zach. And up the Lily Whites. Thank you. I'm here with Head of Women's Development, Fran. First of all, welcome to the Lily Whites. And second of all, how does it feel to, to be a Lily White? I'm really excited about starting a women's team, building it, I'm really impressed with everything I've seen. Uh, when I've been down watching the men's games, I'm really looking forward to getting involved. So, obviously we've, we've obviously taken the time to take you in, you've had a look around the club, but what, you obviously played as well, uh, what is it the main things that you're looking for, for the first few months of development from the club? Really looking to getting that women's team up and started, um, getting enough players in place to be able to register a team and get the um, uh, getting a women's team set up and involved in one of the Kent leagues and just getting it up and running and eventually building on that to be able to build a pathway from under 16s all the way through to women's first team. Yeah, that's really important here because we sort of want to mirror our first team, but the facilities here are brilliant as well. You know, you've got the 4G bitch, you, you, you've seen the changing room. So for any woman that does wish to join us, they're going to get those facilities. They're going to get to train on this, on this beautiful 4G. And it all starts on May the 17th on a Friday with our first session. I know right now we've got a roughly around 10 plus joining, but how do we um, sort of broaden our minds? So if anyone is listening and wants to join, how, what would you say to them? Get in touch. Um, there'll be various contacts on social media. We're just looking to, you know, to build something um, and start something from scratch, really. So we're really excited to get on board anyone that wants to. And um, there is a form, like I said, to sign up um, and come on down and see if you like what we can offer. I couldn't let you go today without actually asking about the Lily Whites game because it's a 4 1 win. And I know that, you know, you were standing near me when I was filming today and stuff. But uh, what did you think of the first team today? And what do you think of the way that uh, the Lily Whites present themselves in the first team? Yeah, really good. Uh, it was a really good game. Um, lots of uh, hitting the bar. Um, but no, it was good. Um, they've put themselves in a good position now for playoffs, guaranteed playoff spot. Let's hope that we can get a home, a home playoff. Um, and you know, work with the team to move up. Yeah, and like I said, there's there's so many good factors about this club today, on and off the pitch. But firstly, this is just an introduction to you. Say welcome. You're going to be you know heading our, our women's division now, and you're going to be giving it all of your time and and all things like that. So obviously, we're going to be looking for a manager. We're going to be looking for players. But most of all, it's about you seeing the club overall, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I've like you said, I've played. Um, I've worked in football for a little bit now. Coached myself. Um, so really looking just to get things up and running and like you said mirror what the, the men's team can do and just really give those opportunities for girls that love football and just want to play. Last question, I know you're cold but um, you're going to put the boots back on and give it a go? 
might do, <laughs> might do. I'll see. Maybe, maybe joining in a few training sessions to see. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see how that one pans out. Well, friend, welcome and up the Lily Whites. Thank you. Warren, well done today. Man of the match for a second half performance. Grabbing a goal as well and to see you be a match fit, the fans absolutely love it. How do you feel? Uh, I feel good, I feel good. Um, been injured for for a number of weeks now. Uh, being out injured for a number of weeks is actually really not good. Um, it's good that my knee is feeling much better now and then being out there and then doing what I love and then good win as well and then keep pushing on to finish second and then hopefully we get home advantage. And so I'm so I'm, I'm just glad being out there. Since to come in, what, um, Tommy's been giving you, you know, a lot of back in and I know that he's been looking after you as well. How good is it to have a manager that fully backs you and gives you the time and love? Because I know before under the other man you were having a hard time, but someone like Tommy who's really put his arm around you. Uh, you can see that, you know, he's got he's a man has been, been been around everywhere and he's got experience how to manage people. And you know, I'm just glad he's been looking after me. Obviously, when you got knee injury, it's actually really, really tough. Uh, you don't want to be thrown out there straight away. So, um, so he's been managing my minutes, um, which is really, really good. But I feel much better now and then ready to go. And yeah, it's, it's been good all around and, and been good for everyone, been fair. And then, and, and then you know, come in and change everything and then, and then go really playing good football and then, you know, ready for the playoff and hopefully win it. Playoffs now is, is is still you know sort of we could play any one of the three, but it looks like it will be either Corinthian or Irith Town mm -hmm. uh, with a victory next week that will secure a home one for us with um, with it all being tied up. Yeah. How are you feeling ready for the playoffs? And also as well, um, is there anyone that you fear? Nah, no, I don't think anyone. Uh, we're in a good run and uh, we're, in, we're, in, we're in form as well. So um, I fancy anyone. I don't really mind who we who we play. So you just go turn up on the day and then be your be wherever you face really so and in terms of um, picking a team that we want to face I don't really I don't really mind who we face I know how good we are and then how good we can be on the day and then and I fancy I really fancy us to go on and then and, and then win it really lastly the fans absolutely love you here every time you score they sing oh Warren Mafula how much confidence and how much does it how good does it feel to be loved by the fans here I mean you know being loved is also it's always a good thing and then and I appreciate them and then the you know all my way they're always out there in numbers and singing my name out and then I love them so much and I appreciate them so much and then yeah I mean yeah I'm, I'm so glad that you know I'm a, I'm a loving person I mean I'm a, I'm a loving person so I really like, like the fact that they love me and they sing my name out you know I appreciate them a lot you are today's player of the match well done and oh what a <laughs> well done brother cheers cheers Ronnie. thank you no worries Tommy 4-1 uh, winner here today for the Lily Whites what did you see? Um, listen, it was uh, it's a weird game because it was in the last game, you know, bottom of the league. I see them in a week. I know they're going to come and frustrate us. Um, I thought we dropped our levels a little bit, to be honest, today. But, we, you know, I said to the boys, we've played the game. We know these games can be difficult. But um, overall, I mean, obviously the goal, the goal against the run of play sort of put them, put them back in it and give, it, give us the kick perhaps we might have needed. But... At half time, I wasn't happy with it. Um, we, had a, we had a few words at half time about things. Nothing majorly over the top, but it's the second half again, it was just again chance after chance. And then, well, you see when you put seven bodies behind the ball, and you know they did get us on a couple of counter attacks. Um, it was hard to break down and fair play to their goalie. You know he's made some unbelievable saves today. But um, listen, the most important thing I said before the game, I'll take a one nil. Um, but at the same time, if we're on top, I'd like to see teams off. But today, fair play to them. They sat behind the ball. Um, but I think 4-1 is, is a fair reflection of the game. Yeah, goals will count a lot here because a lot of teams can end on the same point. So goal difference is going to be crucial for the playoffs, for the for the placing as well. But I like said that goalkeeper today was was on another world, really. And save off, save hitting the post, the crossbar. But days like this, it's, it's, it's more important to drop and get those levels higher, isn't it, as well? But, you know... It's, nothing against them but it was a pretty routine victory in the end nice to see that uh, Tomo get his first goals on Warren back amongst the goals and it was, Steph wasn't in the goals today and he come off at half time is there anything you can say about that? No not at all um, we, we know what we're doing with Payne he knows what we're doing we keep that in house um, but no uh, I'm glad the subs went on and made an impact you know both of them and obviously as well Bailey going out wide so, um, he's got you know Tomo set him got the cross and was has finished it so that's a pleasing thing but no in general it's about trying to get in one minutes without jeopardising um, you know, it's, it's a great score we've got here, so it's never going to sort of weaken it. And, you know, we give Billy Bingham a break today. Um, so, but we knew it was going to be a potential banana skin, but, you know, 4 ones a, a good result, a fair result, and it keeps the momentum going. Billy Bennett, she had a hat-trick in the first half. 
Yeah, I said to him, you know, he squared one when perhaps he got to be a little bit more selfish. But Billy, you know, I spoke to him for the game, better getting in and around the box, that's his game. Um, I, think, I felt he was dropping a little bit deep at times in his in previous games, but, you know, he's a great lad. And again, like all of them here, it's about the squad now. Um, I'm glad he's got two goals and it gives me more headaches for next Saturday. Moving on now, Punjab away, last game of the season before the, before the playoff push, but... How important is it to go to punch up with the right mentality of a team that will want to beat us as well? They, you know, they're no team that wants to lie down and they're a team that want to be able to get those big scalps. Yeah, listen, anyone that's played for me or knows me, the mentality is always going to be right, whatever game it is, whether there's nothing on it or whatever. I want my team to go out there and play with pride and give everything they've got. Listen, we might, we might have to go to punch up and get second spot yet. Um, if Erif Town win the next two games, they will go above us. So we will have to be. So again, what we can do is concentrate on ourselves. But um, regarding dropping levels and standards, that, that's never going to happen anyway. But we, you know, we just see what happens in the week. But for us, great big massive crowd. You know, a bigger crowd again. It's gone up another level. So we're glad we give them a send off and goals. And to be fair, there was quite a lot of chances. And like I said, we hit the post, we hit the bar, and so they've seen some uh, some good attacking football today. But against a side, like I said, that basically have come and parked the bus. Yeah, that was my next question. It's gone up by 30 again this week. So it's a really steady decline here, uh, decline, increase at the club. But um, everyone, can't, one, two, five people getting a free beer as well. And we do little things like that in and around the club. And obviously there's a party going on tonight. But how important were the people that were through the gate today? Because not many of them were well in town fans. Listen, it, it, it's massively important. Whichever club I've been at, I'd like to think that we value off the pitch as much as on it. That's why the boys are in the bar now. They'll all be mingling with the fans. Um, the fans are welcome to come. You know, it's, it's an open forum. You know, we're talking whether we're good, bad, or whatever. Because what you want to try and do now is push Favisham back up into the next level at least, and then hopefully on from there. But um, the, if you listen, without the fans and that, there's no football club. So that's the most important thing. So we fully appreciate them, and, and hopefully today, um, you know, last game at home. Well, it won't hopefully be the last game at home. Hopefully, we get more and more coming through, and it. And it and it build on that for next season as well. Thank you very much, Gaffer, and well done today. Cheers, and thanks everyone for the support. Thank you very much.